Twisted legend here. Fucking hell. Today is a good day. You might be wondering why I'm standing in the middle of the garage where my car normally is. It's because my car is right here. And I found out this really cool thing that the car does. It only works if like you're not a lazy piece of shit, but it does this really cool thing. All I gotta do is flip this thing. Hold on, I'll show you what happens. It's so crazy, it, like, it never does this, but if you're not a lazy piece of shit, it'll actually like do that. I didn't know it even did that. It's never done that before. But in all seriousness, uh, I busted some ass, didn't film it, and it's way too bright out here. But uh, it runs. I haven't had any issues with overheating or anything yet, but uh, she smokes, she vapes, but there's a lot of shit still in the exhaust. I just went for my first test drive, everything went smoothly. Uh, I have power steering now, I've never had that before, so that's probably going to throw off my drifting really bad. But before I go on any big drives or anything, I'm going to actually put my uh, my side skirts and my front bumper on, just so less chances of get pull getting pulled over and having issues like that. You guys have probably never seen that before. Yeah, she rusty. Somebody tried to jack it up at the pinch welds once and actually jacked up on the kick panel, so now that's all dented in, and it started rusting and fucking everything up. But I'm going to throw the front bumper and the side skirts on and uh, go take it for a longer drive. God, I hope that worked. This car kind of looks cool. I don't care what people say. I think this kit looks rad. Yeah, that looks pretty neat. So I'm gonna go set the GoPro up inside the car and we're gonna go for a test drive. I'm gonna take it to the gas station, get some gas, drive around town a little bit and then I'm gonna wash it, I think. No, I can't because I'm not gonna put the hood on yet. I'm just gonna go for a drive. I'm gonna throw the GoPro in there, talk about bullshit, I don't know. Let's just see what happens. <laughs> Exhaust leak. Here we go. I have power steering. I couldn't tell you last time I fucking had this. Like I said, I'm just going to be going putting gas in the car and then uh, driving around. I'm gonna go get something to eat too. So, uh, that guy's pissed. I don't know what he's all mad about. He's pulling into my driveway. Oh. I know who he is. <laughs> When I drove around earlier, I didn't feel any misfires like I was having before. And if it goes away for good, I'll be stoked. I have the windows down right now and they're gonna stay down, so I'm not gonna do a lot of talking while driving when going fast. God, I miss this car. I miss this car so much. I think I just need to tighten up a V-band. That's probably where that exhaust leak's coming from. loose again and uh, I never investigated because I was pulling the engine out I thought I'll do it later when I got into the car and I started nut and bolting things my lower control arm bolts to the subframe were completely loose but to quote what Chelsea said in his video is he's pretty much just saying it's always a good idea anytime you're about to take the car to a drift event or drive it after a long time is just nut and bolt everything check everything 
make sure that everything is tight and nothing's just gonna fall off. It's just a good way to make sure that your shit stays together. I'm so scared I'm gonna stop at a stoplight. When I pull away, there's gonna be like a puddle of fluid sitting on the ground for me. I didn't see any leaks. I haven't seen any bullshit like that yet. In theory, everything's fine, but we'll have to see. Pull into the gas station. Two seconds later, somebody yells from the road, Weeaboo trash. <laughs> It's like they know the name of the car already. <laughs> iDubs here, back with another legit food reviews. I got a buttery, crispy, delicious chicken sandwich, fries, and a caramel frappe because the actual word just sounds gross coming out of my mouth. So I thought we could have a little talk. I don't know what about, but we're just we're just gonna talk. But tomorrow is actually Redneck Dad's birthday how old is he i can't remember he's, he's young i think he's gonna be like 42 43 i don't know i feel like that dude doesn't age ever he's gonna be fucking 25 for the rest of his life redneck dad also doesn't believe that he is known as redneck dad and everybody wants more videos of him he doesn't believe it he doesn't think it's true so hopefully he's coming to drift day five if i'm driving and then if so, we can get some more videos of him. So I'm already going to start the season off shitty because I wanted to run the same tires from beginning to end, same size, same everything, to build up my consistency of driving because if you didn't know, changing tires throughout the season can really throw you off because if you get the same set of tires for like two drift events, you get really comfortable with that type of tire. And then once you switch over, it's like you're relearning the car again. So, I wanted to run one set of tires all year. I'm not going to be able to order tires in enough time, and I still haven't made the decision of what I'm going to run. I've Last year, all I ran, every now and again, I ran some junkyard tires, but uh, I ran Ironmans, 225, 45s, and they were great. I didn't mind them. I just needed, I need something that lasts a little longer. I'm thinking about switching over to Achilles ATR Sport 2s. Heard a lot of good things about them, that they last a good amount of time. They're decently cheap and uh, pretty easy to get. But my buddy Mike is trying to get me switched over to... Um, oh my god, I cannot remember the name of the tire. He's a Texas guy, runs with all the Lone Star shit, and they all run the same type of tire, and I cannot remember the fucking tire brand. Kenda? I think it was Kenda's. He's wanting me to switch over to Kenda's. He's trying to push that on me, but they're fucking expensive. I also thought about trying to be a baller and run Zestinos because they're cool as fuck but I think they're gonna be too grippy for me and they're just way too fucking expensive and hard to get but I, I can't do that so I need to find a tire that I can buy consistently that it won't be hard to find because if I go half the year and then like a, a competition comes up that I want to do and I can't get the tires that I'm used to on time then I'm gonna have to run on some shit tires and have less chances of winning. I don't plan on doing any competitions. I really don't care for competitions. I'm just trying to think of an example. I'm gonna finish my food. Then I need to go buy a present for Redneck Dab for his birthday. And then I don't know what else after that. So we'll see what happens. Everything's back together now. Uh, I did have an issue with, I was missing a bolt out of my header. I'm not gonna talk about how it is now in there, but it's in there, let's just say that. I'm about to go for another drive, but that's pretty much just going to end it for today. But right before we cut it off, Kurt finally didn't fucking bail on me. <laughs> oh my god. I t he wasn't going to show up until I told him I wasn't working on anything. Then he decided to show up. But this is his bike. So what type of bike is it? It's a 1972 Honda CB350. This thing's fucking rad. Um, he's building another bike right now that he said that I can ride if I want to, so we might do some moto vlog stuff later on this year, but this thing's fucking neat. But that's going to finish it for today. I have nothing else to film. I have nothing else to do. So hopefully the next video will be D-Day 5. Uh, if I could just get the tires and the car still runs, then I will be doing D-Day 5. So till then, thank you guys for watching. <laughs> <laughs>